So this is a 2000 watt inverter that I'm using to wire up my shed so that it has electricity. You can see it has some beefy wires appropriate for 2000 watts. And yes, this is the battery I'm using. I realize it is way too small, but right now I'm doing a proof of concept of everything before I get the bigger batteries. But you can see the display here, it shows the voltage for the battery, voltage for AC, and then the wattage output. It shows the battery level as well so pretty pretty nice there so let's test it out with my sander you can see it's using 110 watts of power you can also see that the battery meter drops way down obviously when you are using something and then i've got some wires coming down from my solar panel i've got it in the charge controller going into it and then going out of that i have it plugged into my battery so it is charging my battery from solar and I just keep this plugged in 24 7 all the time and it has been working great so you can see those alligator clips going into the battery and then the inverter is still plugged in so I just leave everything like this and it's on 24 7 so I basically have electricity all the time unless I use too much power but here you can see me just trying using different things i've got usb plugged in for a speaker i've got a fan going got the solar charging got the battery plugged in and another cool thing about this inverter is that it does come with the wires and it comes with a remote so if you were using this for an rv or something like that and you wanted to move this up closer to where you are sitting then you could use that remote as well. And another cool thing, this is what I want to use it for, is to wire up. So you can plug in some wiring. I did it wrong, so you'll notice I had the wrong wirings, and you can take it out. It's kind of tricky. You, you pop in a screwdriver and you kind of bend it, and then you can kind of wiggle the wires out. So it, it did take me a while to fix it. Pay attention to what the letters are. I, I misread them, but you basically have line, neutral, and ground. So I put the wire in the correct spot, and then I just have it hooked up to an outlet. Eventually, when I get my batteries, I'll have multiple outlets and do a better job wiring everything up. But as it stands now, I am really happy with this inverter. You can see, again, I have a light plugged into it. And the reason I have this light is because I can change the brightness. So you can see here, as I change the brightness on the light, it shows up here on the inverter that the wattage is going down or up, depending on if I'm turning the light up or down. This inverter was sent to me so I could evaluate it and review it, and I've been really happy with it. It's a fantastic inverter. No problems. I'm really excited to finish up with my shed and get everything wired up, and we'll do a follow-up video when I get to that point. Thanks for watching.